is living in a matriarchal society better for women's health? Well, you discover it in the next two minutes. A study about the Mushuo women, who are an isolated ethnic group in China who maintain a matriarchal society, shows that these women are happier and healthier than women living in the rest of the country. Evidence suggests that this, this is due to the women having increased autonomy and excellent social support within this community. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Marilda and I'm looking for women who want to change things. So if you are among us, please subscribe and leave your comments below to improve this channel and let's grow together. In this video, I will tell you about the medical considerations of matriarchy. Most of you will know that women tend to outlive men. Fewer of you will know that women tend to get more diseases than men. Women tend to have higher blood pressure than men. Women tend to experience more inflammation than men. Both of these are usually associated with some other serious conditions. A team of researchers led by Adam Reynolds of the University of New Mexico investigated to see if this condition also exists in Mushuo society in China. The team recorded health measures in Mushuo individuals and the findings have been published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. They reported that in patrilineal communities, the prevalence of chronic inflammation in women was 8.3%. In the same area, but inside the matriarchal community, only 3.6% of the women were found to suffer from high uh, inflammation levels. So 8.3 versus 3.6. Blood pressure tests showed similar results. Siobhan Mary Matson explained their interpretation of the findings. Women in these matrilineal communities have a great deal of autonomy in decision making and excellent social support. Given that women tend to be at a greater risk of chronic disease worldwide, the fact that they actually do better than men in this realm of health is telling. She concludes that the study demonstrates that these gender inequalities can have tangible biological effects that contribute to gender disparities in health. These interpretations will be in line with other findings that suggest racism is terrible for people's health. The stress of racism are, is linked to babies with low birth weight, heart disease and poor health outcomes. So, yes, we can say that our health is impacted by our culture and the limitation it puts on us. So, another good reason to promote the matriarchy. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next video about matriarchy. <laughs> Ciao!